Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today I'm going to be talking about an episode from Season 7, The Portrait. I've been asked about that one a fair bit lately, so I thought I'd cover it now. If you're enjoying these, please do hit like and subscribe. In this episode, we meet Derek Pembroke III, played by actor Jared Martin. He has recently returned from Paris, where he was painting, and also post-war. He had been a soldier in the war. He's come back with what we now have come to know as PTSD. It was an unusual topic for the Waltons to explore in the 1970s. I would say rather ahead of its time. Derek, when he comes back, is appears to be just very moody and introspective. And when he first meets Aaron at Ike Godsey's store, he is very taken with her. You might even say obsessed. To me, this episode had a very dark, moody feel to it, a lot of tension. Uh, the music throughout the entire episode really set a somber mood, uh, also keeping in with this being just a little bit of a different feel of an episode for the Waltons. It was directed by Ralph Sinensky, who directed a number of episodes of the Waltons. And if you want to hear what he had to say about this particular episode, you can read his blog. Uh, he really digs into different aspects of how he felt about the script and about the filming of it. So it's very interesting reading. There's a point in the episode where Derek is at the Dew Drop Inn. Jason is playing. It's basically closing time. Nobody's really in there. Uh, but he sits uh, nursing a beer as John plays. And he asks if Jason knows any French songs. And Jason plays something that then Derek sings to. And uh, it, I thought it was fascinating that he did sing and that he did sing in French. As Erin walks through the woods at one point, she hears something and she goes to explore what it is that she's heard. And it's a very, again, eerie sort of a shot between the music and the way the camera sort of follows her. Nowadays, a shot like this would be done with what we call a steady cam that uh, the camera operator actually wears like in a harness and it has shock absorbers in it so that it absorbs uh, the any movement, any uneven ground as the operator carries it through and follows whatever the action is and it keeps it balanced so that it isn't all shaky. At this point in time, um, I believe they, uh, it would have been difficult to do a tracking shot because you need level ground to do that. So it almost looks like perhaps a handheld shot, uh, as we often saw in news coverage in earlier times. And we still do at times where camera operators just have the camera on their shoulder and they chase the action. In this case, the irregular movement of the camera and the music uh, really does create um, a whole mood as Erin goes through the woods wondering what it is that she's going to discover and she finds Derek. They have a brief conversation. Um, he seems a little disoriented. He is fascinated by her and wants her to come with him. He wants to paint her. He initially sketches her and then wants her to come with him so that he can paint her. She is uncomfortable with this and and says no, she has to go home and more or less flees from this very odd encounter. But I think she is also fascinated by Derek. I noted that when we see Mary in this scene with Derek, she uh, is not wearing a sweater. By the time she seems to have wandered home, having just had this interaction with Derek, she is now wearing a sweater. So I'm not exactly sure where this sweater came from. Um, perhaps she made some stop along the way Perhaps she went home and went back out. I don't think so. I think there was maybe just some place along the line they lost track of that a sweater had been there and then a sweater hadn't been there. So it it happens. Very interesting dynamic between the characters of Aaron and Derek. Um, I spoke a little bit with Mary about the filming of this episode and just recently sat down with her uh, in a session that I will be sharing with you very soon. And this was one of the things that I asked her about this particular episode because it was sort of different and it was a different sort of episode for the character of Aaron as well. 
Um, so she shared her thoughts on some of this, which hopefully you'll enjoy hearing. Um, but ultimately, her fascination does pull her to Derek, and he is staying at his family's home, and he is drawing this huge mural on the wall of one of the rooms of the house. Um, in Ralph Sinensky's blog, he said that our art director, Ed Graves, had painted all of those war scenes that we see on the wall, and then also in some artwork that he takes to Godsey's store and wants to sell. Sometimes I get asked about who did the artwork and things. Was it, you know, was it Michael when she was supposed to be painting? Uh, was it really Marie Earle as Maude Gormley? But typically it was actual, you know, trained artists and stuff like that. In this case, our art director, Ed Graves, was clearly a talented artist and he did supplied all of the artwork. So when Erin finally does go to the Pembroke house and Derek wants to paint her, um, initially he scares her off and she runs away when she sees the art. She finds it very disturbing and he wants to call her Gabrielle. So clearly he is confusing her with someone he knew in Paris during the war that has left a really deep impression on him. Um, Later in the episode, Mary Ellen is working at the hospital and asks, she's working on the uh, psychiatric ward at the time. She asks one of the doctors some questions and then sees this painting on the wall. Uh, the painting looks a lot like Derek's work and she asks about it and it turns out that it was Derek's work and that he spent some time in the hospital um, and the doctor felt that he was really struggling um, and had hoped that he might stay, but he didn't. Um, as the episode progresses, Aaron does go back to Derek's house and he wants to paint her. And there is this beautiful image of Mary in this, in this large piece of artwork. Um, however, the eyes are not painted, but you see her glorious red hair and it just is, is very, uh, very moving. And then as he gets deeper into his delusions, she becomes more and more frightened. Meanwhile, Mary Ellen has told um, Daddy um, that she has heard that there are concerns about Derek and Aaron is not home. So Mary Ellen and, and John go to find Aaron. And Derek is having a bit of a breakdown. John embraces him and assures him that they will get him help. And he says he wants to go back to this doctor that had been of help to him. So, um, you know, a dark, heavy episode, but certainly touching on a very important subject. There was a much lighter hearted subplot where uh, Jim Bob, they're going to raise money for um, a church fair or something like that. So he's gone up into the attic and found this old bird cage that is sort of broken. Um, Grandma sees it and it's like, no, no. He's like, but it's broken and, and it doesn't even have a bird. She's like, get one. So he and Elizabeth initially go out and try and capture a bird. Well, that doesn't work. So then Jim Bob goes and he, and he gets one from a store. Uh, it's supposed to sing. It doesn't. But Grandma is determined that this bird will sing and that she's going to teach it to sing. There's a, a sweet scene where Jason is playing piano and Grandma is dusting and he insists that Grandma sit down with him and do this duet. Now, despite her stroke, and as I have heard is not at all unusual, despite the fact that Ellen really struggled with her speech, she could still sing. And so there's a, a darling little duet. And during the duet, the bird finally starts to sing. So um, that was just a, just a sweet moment. And it was lovely to see Ellen have this moment and then her joy with the, um, the singing of the bird. And that's what I have for you for now for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons about the episode, The Portrait. And uh, soon I will be speaking with Mary McDonough and we will hear her thoughts about the filming of this episode also. I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy, as well as my segments with Mary McDonough. Thanks for watching.